Perfect. Hi there, welcome to the Pat Monk podcast. I'm here today with Beth. Beth is from Waller and it's a, a startup that started in October of 2020. They're just getting up and rolling. It's a very exciting time, especially through the whole pandemic and lockdowns. They managed to come up with uh, this company and um, we want to dive into and find out a little bit more about what you're doing. So welcome to the podcast, Ben. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. You're very, very welcome. So tell us a little bit about Waller in your own words. What's it all about? So essentially, Waller creates data to power businesses' success. So what we mean when we say that is we have a research platform that enables market research agencies, media companies, PR use conduct their research end to end from a single platform so essentially what this does is it saves a lot of time it prevents you from going to multiple different suppliers to do different aspects of your research reduces cost uh, and it just means you have a one source of truth for all of your data so we are just our kind of aim is to make sure that we are making the research process a lot simpler so that the customers can focus on what they do best so take for example a market research agency they want to provide insights for their end clients so by using Walla and using the data creation platform they can get through the operational side so to speak quickly and then they can focus on adding that insight to their end clients so in us delivering delight for our clients they can deliver delight for their end customers. Okay, fantastic. That sounds good. And, you know, when you're dealing with your clients on a typical, like, what kind of problems do you end up solving for your clients? I think it is really that piece around having multiple suppliers to do multiple different parts. So within the research process, you have to script the survey. So you're designing the questions. You then have to source the sample, the people who are going to answer those questions. There's a whole load of analysis that then needs to be conducted on that research. And then you need to share the results. So oftentimes you can have multiple different people doing this, which creates complexity. It can be very confusing. If you don't really want to focus on doing the research side of things, you know, it, it's not very accessible to every person who needs to collect data and um, so that's the kind of main business problem that we're solving is we're just simplifying that process we we unify it all under one platform so people can just interact with Waller alone they can either do it themselves if they have a research background and they just want to go on the platform and get it done or we can support them also through a managed service so we offer both um both options um we all can also offer a hybrid so we really work as a partner uh, depending on what the customer needs from us okay and i mean with this who like when it comes to that and making it simple like who's your average client or like what kind of industries do you focus on um primarily market research agencies uh, at the moment so um as i said they are working with their end clients to provide insight on a particular topic so you know that could be the success of Super Bowl adverts or um, you know the effects of COVID any kind of research that they're conducting we are the kind of step above in terms of we are the tech that underlays what they're doing um, so that's a good example of a, a customer but as I said we can also help out PR polling mm -hmm. agencies management consultancies it's kind of anyone who wants to create data to support intelligent decisions okay uh, that makes sense and like what are your top channels for gaining new customers at the minute because we're quite a young business we have over 400 years of collective experience within our team so everyone you know brings a wealth of yeah, everyone brings a wealth of experience in the research sector. So, I mean, that has the main advantage of we can use a lot of our own networks, um, which does really well for us, you know, word of mouth, using success with previous clients to, you know, try and gain other clients. So that's been the primary way, you know, the typical way of startups. Um, we do get website leads is another channel for us. Um, we have some great press agency that we use called Cansight and they help us out a lot with getting our name out there. And I think that then drives leads to us also. But yeah, I think it is just focusing in on, on the clients we have, making sure we're delighting them and then hoping that has the kind of ripple effect of, of word of mouth. Okay. And you know, with that, that means great like word of mouth referrals and leveraging 400 years of experience. And, you know, how important is your website in gaining new clients? It is 
it's very important. I mean, we're a tech company, um, so it's it has a huge role. I think just to provide content, we we launched our brand last year uh, back in March. So mm -hmm. we've been doing a lot of work kind of behind the scenes, setting the foundations, making sure we're getting our messaging right. We're supporting the sales team in terms of the collateral that they need. Now we're in a position where we really want to focus on how the website is working for us, you know, mm -hmm. again, to reiterate, we're a growing company. So you want to make sure that the assets and the platforms that you have are working for you. Um, and from my perspective in marketing, we want to create fame, fluency and feeling in everything that we do so that everyone knows about Walla. There's a fluency in terms of every platform that they interact with. They know they are interacting with Walla. And then there's a feeling. So um, in everything that we do, we want to delight. That's kind of our delight through dedication is one of our values. Um, so the website is a huge part of that. And especially given the importance of the Walla platform, mm -hmm. the website really needs to be a kind of consistent integration with that. So you can kind of go between the two. So we are in the process actually of reevaluating that tool for us. Um, using HubSpot, making sure that we've got the automation in place so that it is it is doing more work for us um, so that we don't have to kind of, you know, manually do all of those processes. So that's going to be quite a big um, project in just mapping out that full customer journey, including the Walla platform and any other platforms that customers might in, interact with us on um, and making sure it all kind of talks to each other. Perfect. No, that, that sounds good. And I mean, if you had to say like, if you were looking at the major strength of the website, you know, would it be ability to convert, you know, visitors? Is it qualifying leads? Is it user experience? I mean, what what is it doing really well at the moment? I think at the minute, and something that's probably quite unique given our age is that the branding is quite strong. I'd say in that, you know, we had an agency come and help us last year on that and I think that really sticks out in people's mind you know sometimes the website and the design and the branding can come quite late on in companies um whereas they prioritize that really early on you know they were weren't even two years old when they kind of invested in in making sure that the brand was really memorable so I think that's that's probably a key strength of the website currently um in just getting people to remember us and hopefully come back and convert Mm -hmm. No, that's that's good. I mean, I'd say like you're still in the game started, you know, since 2020. I mean, if there was something that you could focus on for to improve or something like that. I think from my perspective, the next tactic that and lever that we can leverage is where we're placing forms. So uh, predominantly until recently, we we just had the main contact form that people were being sent to. Mm -hmm. Um so we weren't necessarily using contact forms at the bottom of blog pages or case studies or anything like that or necessarily tailoring those forms depending on what the user is interacting with so I think moving forward that's kind of where we want to be we want to make sure that depending on where they are in that site they are getting served a form that's relevant to them that might be interesting to them that is really going to drive that conversion um, so I think that's that's kind of next piece of work and then as mentioned integrating that with HubSpot how they then get sent emails and get kind of sent through a workflow um, so that we can maximize how many leads get qualified. Perfect. And yeah, no, that's, that sounds really good. And so let's, let's switch gears a, a moment here. So let's uh, kind of jump into, you know, going from the website and what you've done, maybe and talk a little bit more if you as a leader. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, what do you find is taking over your day? Oh, um, well, at this point in time, I am building, looking to build out the marketing team. So I, it's very hands on deck at this point. You're just kind of covering all bits of the marketing um, function. So anything from managing social media, uh, managing all the relationships with our agencies, the website, predominantly a lot of work goes into supporting the sales team. So as I mentioned, we want to make sure we're delighting the clients we have. So make sure they've got the documentation that they need working out on building videos, um, generally just having more content for people um, to view and so they can get to grips with the technology faster and figuring out our messaging is a key one and making sure that everyone is kind of reminded um, what our messaging is so everyone is on the same page. And I think that's a great thing about Waller is that people do are really receptive to the importance of the brand and, you know, 
you can sometimes get tech companies where marketing is quite low down on on mm -hmm. The ladder so to speak because the tech is the thing but i think everyone on in waller is really on the same page about you know the importance of getting our name out there and, and driving business through the website or social media or any of the other channels okay okay good and now we're getting to one of my favorite parts uh, which is you know now that we're you know being towards the end uh is the rapid fire round <laughs> so, some rapid fire questions you know, short and crisp um so are you ready I guess so. Okay, so what was the, the last book you read? Oh, um, what was it called? It was about a, it was, it was quite, it was quite a sad book, actually. It was about the Aberfan disaster in Wales um, from the perspective of one of the embalmers. Um, oh. Oh, what was it called? It's the, the the name is totally gone from me, but it was not to worry, not to worry. We, it we was a, it was a very good book. Um, but yes, that was the last one. I'm currently reading My Body by Emily Ratajowski, and I've probably butchered her name. Um, but that one is also a very good book. Very good, very good. And why is it one single thing in the company that is that you're focused on the most at the moment? What what we focus on the most in the company? Yeah, like that single thing, yeah. Uh, I think it is messaging, just mm -hmm. making sure that, you know, especially as we come to um, re-evaluating the website, we really need to nail down that messaging across the products um, for our customers based on their needs. Um, I think that would be key just in terms of building a foundation that we can then um, really scale off. Okay, okay. And if there was, you know, one problem, if there was no boundaries in technology or anything like that what's the one thing you'd like to have fixed in your company today uh more time <laughs> <laughs> um i don't i don't really know i think everyone's very good at working cross-functionally so i think it's quite nice that you can you know especially being in my position if I if there is something that I can't do, it's quite easy to go to someone and get help from them. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe just a bit more time. There's so much to do. Got big ambitions. I think that's it. Perfect. And I mean, if there was one piece of advice, I love this. You know, if there's one piece of advice that you could give yourself if you were to restart in the company again, what would that be? Uh, to stay focused, I think. I think, you know, when you're joining a very dynamic, rapidly growing business, there's the kind of knee jerk is to be like, I have to be doing everything right now, all at once. And it has to be performing <laughs> exceptionally well straight away. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that can be very distracting. So I think I, I mean, unfortunately enough, I've got a great mentor that helps me out um, and gives advice. And I think it was really useful to have her kind of just frame and put more focus around marketing and so I think just be more deliberate about what you're going to achieve first what's the priority that you need to achieve to get those foundations in place and then just keep building the blocks up like we don't have to achieve everything right away it's it's you know about aligning marketing to the business strategy in the best way possible so that you can execute um execute your goals we're not going to have everything done by tomorrow but we're working in a way that works with the business. And I think that's the important bit. But yeah, I think when I joined, there was that kind of like, oh my goodness, when you have a blank slate, there is that like, well, I can do anything. Which one do I start with is, is quite a big question to answer. Um, so yeah, exactly. probably stay focused. No, it, it, it's so true about having that vision, that focus. So like, thank you so much, Beth, for being on the show today. I want to maybe give you the last word. So if there's something that everybody forgets everything else that we just spoke about, and there's one thing that they should remember about, you know, Waller, what would that be? Um, I think it's a, Waller is disruptive. I think in the way that they've built the business, um, you know, their focus on culture, uh, their focus on the way the team is is growing is really is, is something I've not experienced um, and then also its approach to technology how it's going about addressing people's real problems today and then adding that service layer to it as well I think 
I think it's it's yeah the the scale it's had is has been quite phenomenal we've since October 2020 we're approaching 90 people across eight countries um so it's I think it was about 30 or 50 30 or 40 when I joined so you know just within that space of seven eight months it's it's kind of growing rapidly so I think yeah disruptive wow well that that is incredible growth so thank you very much all the best and I look forward to seeing and hearing about bigger and better things from Waller in the future thanks so much for having me thank you you're very welcome bye-bye